in our Model Railroad TV studio today, and we've brought our guest uh, Ken Borowski with us. Ken's going to uh, show us a few techniques today, and we're going to start with, he's going to show us his technique for putting down ballast. So, Ken, we'll let you take it away. Thanks, Ron. Uh, we start out with a few basic supplies here. We've got our ballast, Woodland Scenics, uh, fine ballast. I model an N-scale, so I always get the small, smallest they make. Um, I prefer to paint my track and rails uh, a darker color. Makes it a little more realistic than the black ties that most flex track usually comes in. So I use Roof Brown Poly Scale. We're going to use a 50-50 mix of Elmer's white glue and water. We've got a water soap dish mixture here, which uh, helps us wet the ballast down, makes the glue suck down in between the rocks. And if we were going to do a, a very large section of track, we could very well have just sprayed it with some spray paint like this. But since we're going to do just a small section, we'll just use the small bottle of paint okay. today. That's so, it. I can ask you a couple of questions, Ken. On the 50-50 the white glue mixture, how comparable or how close is that to the, such as the Scenic cement that uh, it's, Woodland Scenic product It's probably really close. It's really close. It's probably the same thing. Okay. But and this is something the, you can mix at home, or if you need a little bit stronger or whatever, you can okay. pretty much customize your... And now, so when we paint the rails, obviously it, just a track cleaner to take the paint off the top of the rail? Or? Yeah, Bright Boy would work for that after everything dries, just come back and... Okay, you don't Not have any up. problems with no. pickup later on or, or anything like that? No, the pickup is off the top of the rails, so anything that's on the side isn't, a, isn't an issue. So. Excellent. All right, well, go ahead and take your okay, way. Okay, so we'll start off by trying to get the cap off the bottle. Okay, we're going to do this section of HO track right in the front here. So I just uh, basically paint it on. And if you've got a home layout, obviously if you're standing in the aisle looking toward the track, you really only need to do the side that you're going to see. You don't need to get the back side because gotcha. nobody's going to see it. So we'll just uh, kind of do the same thing here. Do the fronts of this section and the front of this piece of rail here. Okay. And then I also do the ties too, which, uh, which you can use different color paints also, but I'm, we're going to do it all in this roof brown. Sure, and I mean, the only time you ever see the ties actually black is kind of when they're yeah, I mean, you could, laying on side waiting to be installed. You could come back with maybe a little bit of gray or another couple shades and do every other tie just to mix it up a little bit, but uh, that's, that's your preference on that. So this, this goes pretty quick actually, but like I said, if, if you're going to do a whole section or like an end track module at one time, you could you could just spray it. You could even use this paint in a sprayer too and just just spray it. It just goes a lot quicker. And an airbrush? Yeah. Will you need to wait for this to dry before you apply ballast? This, this dries pretty quick and uh, if you wanted to get it dry in a hurry, you could just get a like a blow dryer and come back and uh, shoot it with that. Okay. I do imagine generally on a large layout, it's that by the time you paint it all the way around, you'd be dry. Exactly. Back where you started. I'm only thinking about the, if it's wet, the ballast is going to tend to stick to the top of the tie right now. Well, I do have a, a dryer that I didn't bring, so we could actually dry this if you wanted to okay. I'll demonstrate just, that. But this, uh, this probably ballast the section right next to it. This shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take too long. So Okay. That certainly adds the realism. So, as you can see, between the black and the, the brown, definitely looks a little bit more realistic than, sure. than the store. And we've got our water just to, for the brush. So now, what I do is I use, uh, you can just get a piece of card stock or anything that you want to use. This is just a piece of paper. Um, I'm an N-scale modeler, so, so I usually use this just because it you can get, uh, get into some little crevices a little bit easier. But. And that, so that fine is, the, is their smallest of the Woodland Scenics product? Right. So then I just uh, drop it in. Of 
course, it's always easier to add more ballast as you go along than putting too much on to begin with, especially if you're, you've got other ballast to track that you're bunting up against too, because then you're going to have to get rid of it somehow. Okay. I do notice at this point you're not really concerned about spilling it onto the rails or? No, right now I'm kind of hoping that that paint was dry enough so the stuff isn't sticking to it, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'll be all right. Okay, so we'll stop with that. The next step would be to take our mixture of uh, dish soap, just like you're washing the dishes, put a few drops in with some water, and uh, we're going to want to wet this down so that uh, it basically makes the rock wet so that when we add the glue, the glue is going to be able to suck down and around all the ballast and get everything hard all the way down to where the cork is. So we're going to make sure this thing shoots and you Okay, we've sprayed the, the track with our 50-50 mix of uh, dish soap and water. And now we're going to use the mixture of water and uh, white Elmer's glue. So we just come, come along and just run it right along the track and it'll uh, just seep its way right into the, the ballast. And that's uh, the whole idea of putting that dish soap water mixture down is the Help this stuff drop right into the to the ballast. Mm -hmm. And I can see that is exactly what is happening. I and then, of course, the glue will dry clear, and you won't even know it's even here. So yep. it is uh, impressive. I said I'm I'm accustomed to the the ballast coming up in balls on those drops of glue, but uh, well, the key is to get it, you know enough of this down there where it's wet enough where the glue will soak in. And of course, if there is a little issue, you can always come back and just wet it down and add some more glue, Touch it get up. some more ballast down. So it's a it's a pretty simple thing to do. It's just when you're doing a whole layout, there's a lot of a lot of track to do. But, right, uh, right. So you're looking for a practical method. It's not hard. It just takes time to work your way around the layout. So all right. Well, there yeah. you have it. This uh, ballasting with Ken Borowski. <laughs>